Self-driving cars on our roads might not be too far off. Lawmakers are considering multiple bills regarding autonomous vehicles, and it could be the first step in making the idea a reality in North Dakota. A vehicle driving itself. These are going to be, uh, you know, whether they're smaller vehicles or buses, that would run in, in certain controlled areas uh, that would be used for, uh, for public transportation. Representative Dan Ruby says with the right laws in place, it could happen in our state. A lot of it, too, is some of the basic stuff. Who's required to, uh, you know, that the vehicles are required to be registered and, and uh, carry insurance. Questions that can't be answered yet. But after a DOT study this past biennium, Ruby has submitted a bill to address the new technology. They worked with uh, a lot of uh, varying groups, uh, manufacturers of these uh, types of, of uh, vehicles and technologies, and came up with uh, basically a, a footprint of what they would need to have to uh, give them some flexibility to work uh, with changing laws. Bismarck City Engineer Gabe Shell said it could do a lot of good. Whether it's a senior or a, a young person or a person with disabilities that might not be able to otherwise drive themselves would certainly be able to drive a, you know, use an autonomous vehicle. These self-driving vehicles are a part of Bismarck's long-term transportation plan, but that plan requires a lot of prep. Whether or not that's the roadway itself, uh, the pavement markings that those vehicles would look for, or the uh, intelligent infrastructure, whether it's a fiber optic uh, communication backbone so that we can talk to every one of our traffic signals and then therefore the traffic signals might be able to talk to those uh, autonomous or connected vehicles in the future. So those are the steps that we can take now. And Shell said it helps having the state try to stay ahead of the industry trends. For more information on this story and all of the news coming out of the Capitol, join us on Sunday morning at 1030 for Legislative Review.